More than 17,000 new businesses registered in Jamaica last year. So if you're one of them, congratulations, hooray. But have you actually done a business plan for your business? I'm Kalila Runnels, and it's time for another episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service, giving you the tools to grow your business. Today, we're walking through the steps of creating a business plan with business development consultant, Dr. Sheldon Campbell. Dr. Campbell, how are you? Nice to meet you. Or Sheldon. Well. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about business planning today and you are an entrepreneur yourself, so you know about this process. Mm -hmm. First of all, tell us what is a business plan? Right, so a business plan is just a document in which you would um, tell persons about your business. You know, it's, it's one way in which an entrepreneur can get you know, funding. Um, the document pretty much tells you how serious you are about your business because a lot of times, I, well, I should tell you, I used to actually be a banker mm. and persons would come into the bank and they would um, want a loan. Mm -hmm. And I realized that um, a lot of times when I started to ask questions, they really didn't know much about their, their, their company. Or sometimes they, they knew, but they, um, they had never gone to some place to you know, formally put a document together. So uh, a business plan really helps you because it, it asks the, the kind of question which uh, a banker, if, if they're going to give you some money, they, they're going to like, okay, we want to know the kind of leadership team, the kind of business structure, how you think about marketing, how you think about, um, is your financials in order? I mean, it asks all the relevant questions. So um, it's, it's an excellent document. There are many um, different documents that you can use. Um, but I find that a lot of um, financial institutions, even investors, they want a business plan because they feel like it is robust enough to um, show that you're, that you're serious, you mean business. So, mm. If you've already been in operation for a few years, do you still need a business yes, plan? Yes, yes, because I mean, you, know, you may have done a business plan early on and you know, as the business change, as you get into different aspects of the business, um, Again, it shows that you're thinking through this. That um, so, it, when you're when you're when you just start the business, a lot of times you you don't really know everything that is entailed. You're kind of guessing, but once you know a couple of years in, you kind of know your market and things like that. But you you certainly um, suppose you want additional funding. There's just so many things why you need a business plan. So um, and as I said, things change. So. All right, so let's talk about what the business plan entails. Is there a specific structure that it should follow? Okay, um, well, well, I would say a business plan um, simply, generally has about four components. Um, the, the beginning of the business plan would have um, the executive summary, um, and then you would have the description of the business. Um, that would be the second major category. The third would be marketing. And then the fourth would be like your appendix. No, the appendix could be like all of your financials, um, things like that. Um, you'd throw that in any kind of arrangements that you have um, that you want to be documented. Even things like your, your personal um, finances and things like that. Because at the end of the day, as I said, um, an investor will want to know, a bank will want to know, like, you know, what if, if all the estate is in order kind of thing. So. All right, so you kind of breeze through the four categories. So right. let's, let's break them down one by one. Okay. So the first part. Executive summary. So in your executive summary, it's, it's, it's a very high level um, kind of look at a business. Generally, you would um, talk about things that you're really strong, on, strong in, sorry. So um, things like um, your leadership team, may, you, you may want to say, well, we have over 50 years of cumulative experience in something, of, you know, that kind of thing. Um, in terms of, uh, then you tend to want to put some nice graphic with um, some kind of highlights of how you, you're doing financially. Mm -hmm. Or even if you don't, you're not in operation, what you would want to do is kind of show your projections, like your maybe a uh, net profit for the next three years or something like that. Um, in that same air section for the executive summary, some persons would include things like 
your keys to success, KPIs, things like that. So that would be the first section. Okay. In the second section of the uh, description of the business, again, is description of the business. So when was the business incorporated? What, uh, what is the lo location, you know, where's your location? What are the um, times that you're open? Um, management is very important. So things like who is on your management team? Uh, things like that. Because, you know, at the end of the day, if, if, pers if you know, a uh, financial institution or an investor looks and see a very strong management team, then they, they would, you know, would want to give you a loan if you need it or grant mm -hmm. funding or whatever. So that would be um, description of business and then marketing. Um, yeah, so what goes on the marketing? Oh my gosh. Is so it everything you have done or everything you plan to do or both? So in, in the marketing section, um, so some persons would start with some of the things in the past. Um, so for instance, if you have done market research, your market analysis, things like that. But even in that, you can um, speak about um, things for the future. So to kind of answer your question. So I know in the States, um, they use um, certain metrics to kind of let you understand like how big the market is. I don't know if you guys are aware, but you know, like in the States, you would talk about TAM, which is your total available market, and your SAM, which is your serviceable available market, and your SAM, which is your serviceable obtainable market. Well, so, you know, because sometimes persons will, all right, let's uh, give, it, give an example. Say you're going to sell, I don't know, say, say cars. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you talk about the fact that, you know, the car industry is a trillion dollar industry and I'm hoping to corner the market. No one would take it seriously because you're talking about the time, which is the total available market. Mm -hmm. However, if, if, if you really limit it to, um, say, in Jamaica, and you talk about just your little area, you'd be talking more about the sum, your serviceable, obtainable market. What, what really is your market as, you know, maybe you're a little car dealer guy and, you know, that kind of stuff. So one of the things investors are looking for is cr something that's credible because we love to throw big numbers and, mm -hmm. and we, we're hoping that when you throw these big numbers, you're going to impress the investor and a lot of times it doesn't because they don't think you're credible. So mm -hmm. if you, you know, if you've really done your market analysis and it's really good, um, an investor is going to look and say, listen, you're conservative. I like that. I do believe um, what you're saying makes sense. Okay. So it's market analysis because you had said marketing before. Did you confuse me? With oh, that? I was thinking about running ads and that type of thing. Right, right. So under the marketing, right, you would have, um, you have your market analysis. No, certainly for marketing, um, again, you can talk about the, you know, your niche. Mm -hmm. So you want to look on things like, based on my niche, what makes sense here? Um, am I going to do Facebook ads to persons of a certain age if they're not really the demographic that I'm serving? Things like that. So, um, so in terms of your marketing strategy, in terms of Facebook ads, whether it's TV ads, whatever, um, all of that is going to depend on your, um, your demographics. Marketing also will talk about the, the kind of funding that you would want to put towards marketing. Mm -hmm. um, again, um, TV ads tend to be more expensive, things right. like that. Um, nowadays, a lot of people are going into um, digital marketing and social media stuff because, you know, it's, it tends to be cheaper. You know, you can do a $50 US mm -hmm. ad or something. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, right. So, Again, marketing, market size, all of that kind of stuff, demographics, niche. And then I'll just skip to the appendix, mm -hmm. which is, again, um, what I've found, and I don't know, you could t maybe um, chime in on this. A the, the more serious investor and the, the person who have been into this kind of um, analysis and understanding um, startups and whatever stage you are as a business, a lot of times they go to the financials first, even though I know a lot of people would read it from front right, to back. Right. First uh, thing they want to see is the numbers. The numbers. Wonderful. So um, I think... Um, are if you viable? You're, exactly. So if, if you are someone and you're, you know, your P&L, your profit and loss, your balance sheet, you have um, cash flow projections, things like that, um, that would generally be good for an investor because they're like, all right, you have done the work. 
Mm -hmm. um, so those are the kind of things, and, and I did mention some of the other things like your personal finances and um, stuff like your cap table, your capitalization table, things like that. So you, you can throw a lot of that kind of stuff in the appendix. They can look on that, um, share allocation, all of that kind of stuff you can throw in there. So. Mm. so if you, all right, so let's say, and you, you use the example a lot of uh, pitching to an investor or a bank you want to get a loan. Mm -hmm. What if I don't need any of that? Should I still do a business plan? How is it beneficial? Right. So what I've, what I've realized is um, uh, when you're doing a business plan, it requires you to answer questions um, that sometimes, even when you're, you're running a business and you think, you know, I've covered all of my bases, um, it's not until you've sat down and you've done a business plan, you realize, no, I've not thought through strategy, I've not thought through marketing, I've not, um, do I even know what's happening three years from now in mm -hmm. terms of my, so it, so even as I've talked about the different categories, is my management team strong enough? Um, what happens, am I thinking about key man risk or, you know, there's just so many things that it, it, it requires, you know, if you're doing a good business plan. No. I know some persons um, today, they're kind of moving away from a business plan. I'm sure you know, you know, Lean Canvas, which is a one page. Right, I've heard of that. Of course, which is like a, just a one pager. And I mean, you can really do a lot in a Lean Canvas. You really, I think it's about nine different sections and you can give a, a, a very good high level view of what happen, what's, what's happening. But if, when you're really going into the details, you, you want a, a business, because for instance, in a business plan, I would put in things like a SWOT analysis, you know, mm -hmm. your strengths, your weakness, your opportunities. Which section does that go in? And that would fall into the same uh, marketing, market, market area. Because even though I say marketing, they, um, a lot of times in the business plan, you have marketing and then the market in that right. same area. So, um, right, and so your SWOT analysis would fall into that. No, persons generally, if, if you don't have a SWOT analysis, they're like, do you even know your industry? Because the opportunities and threats tend to be more for the industry and the strengths and weaknesses is for the company. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can even go deeper. You can go into a pestle, as people would say, your political and your economic and social and your technology and, or your port of forces. And there's so many things you can add. But the point is, um, w people know when you have spent time and if you really mean business. And I so think, how long should this business plan I know, be? Oh my gosh, I knew, this is always a question. Um, so I think, I think if you're doing a good business plan, and it could be that I tend to like to put in more information, but for me, I've, what I found is the business plans that I put together, um, if, even if I exclude the appendix with all of the financial stuff, generally I'd probably have a, about 15 pages. So. In the first three sections, I'd have about 15 pages. Yeah, that's a lot of work to put in. Yes. Yeah, you really have to think about your business and the future of it yes. to write 15 pages about it. Right. Um, but then, as I said, um, a lot of persons are kind of moving to like a uh, one pager. And, you know, people watch Shark Tank and, you know, see someone pitching and all that kind of stuff. But, and, but there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. A lot of times people don't recognize that. So, yeah. Well, you mentioned pitching, and we're going to be talking about that <laughs> on the next episode. So thank you very much, Sheldon. Okay. And we talk again soon. Thank you. Here's a recap of Dr. Campbell's key points. A business plan is a written document that describes in detail how a business defines its objectives and plans to go about achieving its goals. The four general components are the executive summary, description of the business, market analysis, and appendix. A good business plan is usually around 15 pages. That's it for this episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service, giving you the tools to grow your business. Check out their website, eximbankja.com, and check out my website, kalilareynolds.com, for a summary of this episode. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Until next time.